ఈరోజు మధ్యాహ్నం ట్రాన్ నుంచి ప్రయోగించిన పిఎస్ఎల్వి సి ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ రాకెట్ విజయవంతమైంది రెండు విదేశీ ఉపగ్రహాలను నింగిలోకి విజయవంతంగా మోసుకు వెళ్లి కక్షలోకి వాహనలోగా ప్రవేశపెట్టింది దీంతో షార్ కంట్రోల్ సెంటర్ లో ఇస్రో శాస్త్రవేత్తలు సంబరాలు మునిగిపోయారు Uh, Telios 2 and Loom Light in the intended orbit. This was a mission towards east direction and the inclination is uh, very small, 9.99 degrees, very precise. And the PSLE in its 57th mission has once again demonstrated its high reliability and uh, its suitability for commercial missions of this class. So congratulations once again to NSIL and PSLV team for this exciting mission. In this mission, we have uh, we had a core alone configuration of the PSLE, which again has many specialities and improvements that we have done to bring down the cost of the rocket as well as its integration time. And this is the goal to have uh, increased production and launches of PSLV in the times to come, especially when the industry is taking over from us to operate in large numbers. So congratulations to SDSC Shar for making this uh, improvements. as well as PSLA project for improving those engineering of the PSLA systems. I also want to thank the launch vehicle centers of ESSC, LPSC, IASU, IPRC, SDSC for building these rockets and also the extract network for enabling the entire data processing, monitoring and ensuring the vehicle is in safe trajectory as you have already seen in the mission display. So uh, we have some more exciting things to happen after this uh, primary satellite injection the upper stage of the PSLV is now the poem which is going to write some more poem like what we did at last time uh, this time we have uh, seven exciting payloads on board PSLV and these are fixed payloads which will be on top of the upper stage powered by it controlled by its own special computer and commanded based on commands from the ground and the upper stage will be like almost a satellite which will work Uh, if everything goes well for next one month or so. We have three payloads from Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology. We have an exciting payload of electric population from Bellatrix. And there are two payloads of satellite deployment and deploying systems from Dhruva. And Indian Institute of Astrophysics also has one payload. So we hope that when the stage goes down and come back, uh, we will have those data of those activities that are happening on the stage. And Possibly you may not, you may be knowing that there is going to be a deployable solar panel first time on upper stage of a rocket. That is going to be another exciting thing to happen. So we will wait for some more information later, which we will come back and tell you uh, through our social media handles about how this upper stage of the poem is performing very well. And uh, <coughs> hearty congratulations to Team ISRO. Uh, I am so excited and happy and that it has given such a proud moment for New Space India Limited. Uh, with a remarkable mission that our team ISRO has given to our esteemed satellite customer from Singapore. As you are aware, in this particular mission, we had uh, the primary satellite, Thelios 2, which is the radar imaging satellite built by ST Engineering and DSTA, which is a governmental agency. And I am happy to inform here, this is the first time a radar imaging satellite has been made by the Singapore team indigenously and uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank on behalf of NSN and ISRO, the team uh, Singapore, for this uh, wonder ef uh, wonderful effort that you have taken up. As far as uh, ST engineering is concerned, it has been one of our extremely esteemed and prestigious customer. And uh, this is the third time I think we have given them a dedicated uh, commercial launch for them. I am sure they don't look for anybody else other than the PSLV, New Space India Limited and ISO uh, for launching their dedicated satellites on board. And I am sure that they will uh, full their full trust on us in uh, offering us uh, much more uh, missions in the future, not only in PSLV but other launch vehicles of ISRO as well. Now in this mission, we also had one more uh, satellite, Lumlight 4. These were the two satellites which are separated from the launch vehicle. Lumlight 4, which is a nano-satellite uh, technology demonstrated for Singapore once again. 
and uh, I'm sure that in the future, once the satellites have been placed in such a precise orbit, their in-orbit operations and the demonstration and the services that this particular satellite is going to provide to the nation is going to be extremely important. I think I would like to take this opportunity to even congratulate uh, the, the payloads that have been flown in this upper stage as an orbiting platform. We, as Chairman mentioned, we had almost seven satellites and uh, seven orbiting payloads which had been developed by Indian Academia and also the startup industries. I'm sure a technology demonstration platform which PSL has been providing to them continuously wherever it is possible is going to pave the way for leading to a future satellite that could be developed based on the technology that we are going to demonstrate through this. Once again, let me take this opportunity to compliment uh, the Singapore team and I wish them all the success in their in-orbit operations and the rendering of the services to their countrymen. It's a moment of extreme happiness to stand here in front of all of you. In fact, I'm representing all of you after this uh, successful accomplishment of a very significant mission for us. It is a totally dedicated commercial mission for us. We have injected Tilios 2 and Lumilite 4 coming through Ensil in the precise orbit with the utmost precision uh, which other launch vehicles will be giving. Nothing better than this. That's what I can say. I'm extremely grateful to all of you because the tremendous work had gone in during the past three to four months towards the realization and uh, to reach the stage where we are here now. In my opinion, the major accomplishment of this mission, of course, the major accomplishment is the injection of satellites, no doubt about it. But another major accomplishment of this mission is the chance we got, opportunity we got to operationalize in a state-of-the-art integration facility, which is fondly named as PIF, PSLV integration facility realized by, uh, realized by SDSC under the leadership of our project director, Sri Dr. R. Venkatraman. They have been working tirelessly for the past three to four years towards this. And today we have uh, uh, an, a world-class, uh, I, I would say, engineering marvel for integration, which can speed up the integration process of PSLV. And we have done some significant modifications in our launch vehicle. Of course, no change in the basic design or architecture of the vehicle. Only we have done some uh, trimming of the vehicle so that it can become more production friendly. And uh, we have done this after uh, carrying out extensive testing as well as a rigorous exercise of uh, analysis. And after confirming, we are not e eating up any aerodynamic margins. Now, I was just watching the uh, view graphs during the first stage uh, aerodynamic phase and absolutely there were no issues. 